Welcome back to Giant Monster Games! I'm Adrian, and we are playing some more Golgari Hydras! We are waiting on our opponent to decide if they're going to play first, or if they're going to keep their hand... Okay, there we go. Um, what do we got here? So we have a Feral Hydra, we have Mist Cutter. This is not the most amazing opening hand, I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is... I th it's worth keeping, because I mean, we do have a bunch of land, we can do a bunch of stuff. We don't have any of our cool stuff. Uh, we're going to keep it. We are going to keep it even though I am kind of like in the yeah zone for keeping this hand. Um, we do have green mana, which is like an absolutely essential thing for this deck, but yeah. Yeah, what do we think? Um, skip it over to our turn. Our opponent plays a forest and passes it to us. Hardened scales, okay, life. Things have turned around. Mind you, we are going to be taking damage every single time right now. We do need just like an un a normal green forest. Um, theoretically, we could ghost quarter ourselves, like play something in ghost quarter. Not necessarily the best line of play, but it is a potential line of play. So uh, we'll keep it open. We'll keep an open mind on this one here. I think it's the other thing as well is, I mean, we have two Mana Gorger Hydras. So, and we have enough mana that on turn three we can be playing it. So we're going to see how it goes. Uh, we're just skipping through. Our opponent skips it over. just plays another land and passes it back to us. Well, uh, thanks, I guess. Um, well, let's think now. I think we're going to go with the Mist Cutter aggro action here. Just get in a couple, two extra, two damage right away. Can't be countered. So let's just go for that. Get some quick, quick action. And yes, he's going to come in as a 2-2 two -two for two. So kind of middle of the road, I'm not going to lie. But it's a 2-2 two -two for two with haste. So yeah, it's okay. I mean, obviously, when we play this later on the game, it's usually quite a bit better. Um, also, it's in here because it can't be countered. So sometimes it is our, like only potential win objective in some cases, or it's our only, like, way of getting damage in. Um, if we're playing against a deck that has a lot of control and, like, just countering stuff all the time, I mean, this guy gets away with it as well. Uh, gets a gets away with it? What am I talking about? I mean, gets gets around being countered, and he has protection from blue, so it's also really good against Merfolk. Um, I always, I kind of thought about this, I mean, this is something I did not do. Uh, hexproof, power type is equal to number forest you control. Neat. Um... This is something I actually thought of. I mean, I, I have two in the main deck and none in the sideboard, and I was kind of like, maybe I should put a couple in the sideboard. Yeah, I was kind of thinking about it. Um, oh, there's a forest. Sweet. Let's play that. Um, and then let's just get Mana Gorger down. I mean, sweet beans. Um, we're obviously not going to swing it with a Mist Cutter because he'll just die. But we will play Mana Gorger and then ship it to our opponent's turn, see what they have to say. Um, as I was saying, though, Mist Cutter Hydra, I was thinking of actually putting another two in the sideboard. If you, if your local meta has a lot of blue, a lot of control players or a lot of merfolk players, um, even, you know, some, there's a bunch of decks out there that, you know, you may be seeing um, that this may be better to have in the sideboard rather than some of the other stuff we have in the sideboard over here. Um, just because, I mean, the meta I play against um, at my local game store and on MTGO is largely Tron-centric right now. So a lot of my sideboard tends to be Tron hate. Otherwise, I just lose matches all the time. And you guys don't want to see me just, like, going 0-2 against Tron, like, on a regular basis. I think almost every single deck I play against nowadays um, plays against at least Tron once. So, which is shows you how often I play against Tron. So, uh, okay, our turn. Our opponent was nice enough to give us... Oh, yes! Um, that's super rad. Um, well, let's go for the beans... Um, what do I think here? Yeah, we're just gonna go this way. Playing the Mana Gorger, you... Yeah, I know, I can always yield to you. I don't need to... I don't need to hang out. And we play one. He's gonna get another two counters from that, and then we're going to play down a Feral Hydra as well, taking a damage, which is fine by us. And done, and now this is gonna get all kinds of counters on all kinds of stuff. This guy's gonna become huge real quick which I don't think our opponent can deal with it at this point. We'll see. We'll see what our opponent thinks. Because uh, this guy's going to get another three counters on it just because we played another spell. Which is super rad, if you ask me. <laughs> oh, yes. Super funny. Hydras, just getting crazy. They're just getting crazy. That's all I have to say. Um, and again, I mean, this like this is a super funny deck. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Because realistically, we are splashing black for Winding Constrictor. And then because we are already in black, we're like, well, let's put in Doomblade as well. Because having some, like, just immediate spot removal, it's better to have, like, Doomblade-style spot removal rather than... Um, what do we have on the sideboard here? Uh, Beast Within uh, removal, which, you know, gives your opponent... It's technically removal, but... Um, yeah. And our opponent scoops the game. We're going to go to sideboard... And see what we have. 
Let's see, what do we have against this deck? So we were playing against a green deck of some sorts. Um, I do think because it looks like he's trying to go for like some crazy combo of getting a ton of stuff into play. So maybe um, another some Beast Within might be a good idea. Uh, the other option would be Duress, but I didn't really see anything super fancy. I think... Uh, and we only saw green, so I think, I think putting Beast Within is probably a good idea. Uh, we can actually take out probably... Protein Hydra is good. Feral Hydra is good. Mist Cutter Hydra, I think... Eh, you do get in some quick damage. You are cheap. I think you're going to come out anyways, though. Um, yeah, I'm going to take out the Mist Cutter Hydra. Just because, I mean, we're not playing as necessarily a blue matchup. And we don't need to be, like, out of the gate swinging in for some serious damage. So I think that's actually going to be the way I'm going to go with that. Sorry, you guys can't see the stuff here. It's just Ghost Quarters and stuff down here. Um, okay, ship it back. See what our opponent has to say. Going to game two. Again, I'm not really sure what we're playing against. This is not... We're playing in the, like, tournament practice area right now. So, um, yeah. In theory, we should be playing against something that is rated in some level. Like a, like a Tier 1 or Tier 2 deck. Um, not always the case. But usually the way it goes. Uh, what do we think? Yeah, I think we can keep this. Obviously, we don't have any of our cool engine -y pieces. But we do have Forest. We do have uh, Feral Hydro. So we have a Turn 2 player. Then we have Mana Gorger. And also Captain of Lamholt, which is also fantastic. So let's go to our turn. Our opponent plays first, plays the forest. Doesn't really do anything crazy. Um, our opponent is stopping on our upkeep for some reason. Oh, okay, well, apparently for no reason. Um, we'll play the forest and then just ship it to our opponent. We don't have anything. Oops, can't play Captain of Lamholt, I'm sorry. Um, we don't have anything to play on our first turn, unfortunately. I mean, we do have a number of turn one plays, um, but not a ton. Um, so yeah, skipping back, or shipping it back to our opponent's turn. Um, we have a Artless Forest. Um, we're actually just going to skip to our turn. So our opponent, again, doesn't play. No turn... Like, are you playing a green deck? So this is kind of a little bit of a bad form. So, I mean, this is a little bit of a deck-building advice uh, for most people. If you're playing green, specifically mono green, you really need to be having, like, a turn one or turn two, turn two drop. Um, being in green and, like, mono green by the looks of it, and not having any turn one or turn two drops, super scary. I mean, if you're in green, you should have Elvish Mystics, Birds of Paradise. There's a lot of really good one drops that you should have in the deck that you should be getting out, out by turn two. Um, just, just an advice if you're playing green. Um, obviously, we don't have any of those kind of cards, but we do have a bunch of other one drops that we are playing as well. Hey, um, Protein Hydra is super rad as well. I think, though, just because the problem with Protein Hydra is it's going to come out with one counter, and we're not going to be able to make it bigger, so it's not going to do much. So we'll play Feral Hydra for one, and then we will maybe have to pump him a little bit bigger to make him bigger, but just getting a threat on the table. Um, then we can play Mana Gorger Hydra and then Captain of Lamholt. Um, we may actually play Captain of Lamholt first. Uh, the big problem with Captain Lamphold is that we know that our opponent is playing, um, like, a, a not control, um, a combo-y kind of deck where he's, like, getting creatures that are really big. And Captain Lamphold prevents weenies from blocking stuff, not giant creatures. So that becomes difficult for us as well. So maybe... Actually, I probably should have pulled out... When I put in the Beast Within, I should have actually probably pulled out Captain of Lamholt. Just because we knew he was playing big creatures, and we're not going to be using it as, like, a get-around tactic. We're going to be out there running on other stuff. Um, okay, well... Let's throw down a Ghost Quarter, and let's just play Mana Gorger Hydra. He is the best of the best, like there was never else was, like no one ever was. There we go, yeah. Well, we're not playing Pokemon, we're playing Magic. Um, yeah, Mana Gorger Hydra, again, just like such a win-win card in this deck. So it is super duper rad. I love it. I love it so much. Not going to lie. I hate playing against it. I hate it when my opponent has Mana Gorger Hydra, but I love having Mana Gorger Hydra. Okay, so we're actually going to, what is he doing here? Um, oh yeah, this can always yield. Um, and he's going to put a bunch of green insect tokens into play. That's annoying, but we do have Captain of Lamholt, which makes these creatures useless, for lack of a better word. <laughs> which is super funny. Funny for me, at least. Uh, that's at least what I think. Uh, okay. Uh, well, might as well play Lenoir Waste at this point. And then Captain Lamholt, Servant Scales, Swing? I think that sounds reasonable. Um, yeah. Captain Lamholt comes into play. Mana Gorger Hydra gets some counters. Servant of the Scale, which comes in. Lamholt gets a little bit bigger, which means that none of these guys can block, and we're just going to swing for days. Uh, I can always yield a new as well. So basically, creatures that are 2-2, two, two, or less than 2-2, two, two, can't, can't block. So that's super funny for me. Uh, swing for 5, and ship it to our opponent's turn. See what they have to say. No blocks for you, my friend. Sorry. 
super funny. Um, it's just kind of super fun that I'm like, whatever, I have giant stuff, I don't care. Super big, cool stuff. <laughs> just uh, Playing Hydras is so much fun, I'm not going to lie. Uh, does this have lifelink or something on it, or what, is, what does this sword do? Uh, whenever it deals damage to a player, sword of ice deals two damage to target creature or player, then you draw a card. Ah, uh, lame. So he's going to totally blow up our uh, Captain of Lamhold right now. Which is a thing that happens. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to blow up Captain Lamhold. I mean, that's the one that's uh, preventing him from blocking. So, yeah. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if that is what he does. Hopefully I don't draw another land. Um, I really need more threats. Um, but if I... Yeah, I mean, hopefully I don't draw another land. Um, yeah, of course. Of course. And our opponent scoops the match. I guess he didn't think that even with destroying this, he'll actually be able to win? Oh well, anyways, this has been Golgari Hydras. Thanks for watching. I'm Adrian. This is Giant Monster Games. And don't forget to game like a giant monster.